You, that's what you primarily do? Okay, so we have uh, two divisions. Uh, we have an East Coast fleet, and then we have our West Coast fleet. So All you have to do is stay. We about to do this. I'm a little rusty. We're not going to stay on it long. We're not going to stay on it long. Going to get this company a call. Ask a few questions. See if we can get a few answers. And we can go from there. All right. We about to, we about to chop it up. This is Marco. Marco, how you doing today? Good, how are you? I am fine. Thank you. Thank you. Um I'm just calling to uh to get some information about uh about how you pronounce the company name? Van Ederen? Erden? Van Erden? Erden. This is Van Erden? Er okay, Van Erden. Okay, okay, okay. You guys Erden. 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 <laughs> Yeah. Okay, sorry for beating up. <laughs> sorry for beating up the name, but um, um, not a problem. Yeah, so I, I was just calling to get a little bit more information about the company. You know, I'm just doing my homework and everything, and uh, you know, just see okay. what you guys see what you guys got to offer as far as uh, you know, new drivers concerned. Uh, is that all right? Sure. Uh, what's your name? My name's Sean. What's your Sean? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, Sean, what kind of questions can I answer for you then? All right. Uh can you tell me a little bit about the company? Uh like how long y'all been sure. in, how long y'all been in existence and stuff like that? Yep, well we've been in the business for forty years. Um where where do you generally run? We have two fleets, you know, what do you generally do? you know, where do you like to run, I guess kind of, and that'll help me, you know, maybe uh, explain a few things. Uh well, th this is pretty much general questions, you know, pretty much. So I'm I'm open to any anything, but I'm out of Ohio. Right. Okay. So do you run the East Coast? Do you run the West Coast? Uh, Midwest. Midwest primarily. You, that's what you primarily do. Okay, so we have uh, two divisions. Uh, we have a East Coast fleet, and then we have our West Coast fleet. So, um. Our West Coast drivers are generally gone 9 to 12 days and then home for 2 to 3. Um, I would, where you live, I'm a little concerned about that to see, you know, can we get you home or you'd be driving your personal vehicle home if you're running the West Coast. Um, I don't think we'd be able to get you home. Um, personal, but So generally, like I said. Personal vehicle? Um, what, yeah. I, had, I, had to pour, I, I can't take the truck home? No, oh. no, not. Yeah, that's why. I, so let okay. me see. Okay. What? Well, yeah. If you that's, were running, that's, that's if you a, were running, if you were hold on, hold on. If mm -hmm. you were running our West Coast fleet, because we don't go, we don't go east of Tip City, Ohio, and then we come up to Michigan or to Lansing. Um, you would not. We would not be able to get you home if you run East Coast. Then there's options to get you home because you're on, you know, the 80 and 80, 90 a, a lot. You know, you're you're running you're running out and back, you know, every week. Okay, where are you guys? Where it says here, you guys is located out of. You guys is located out of Michigan, right? Grand Rapids, Michigan area. Yep. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So, would I if I'm on the East Coast uh, fleet, would I be able to take the truck home then? Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, kind of confusing question here. Why would I be able to take the truck home if I run the East Coast fleet and not the West Coast fleet? Because if you're running West Coast, mm -hmm. the load is heading out west. You're going to be going down the nine one ninety six. Uh, you know, heading west coast. You know, going through Chicago and stuff like that. So because you're on a load. Um, you know, two reasons the load wouldn't be ready soon enough for you to go home. And then plus, 
it's 304 miles one way to go there from, you know, and then go back, you know, so really you're looking at 600 miles out of route to, you know, to get you home if you're running the West Coast. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Uh, being that you got two different fleets, is it is it two different pays? Or is it the same pay? Nope. Uh, well, there's a couple variances. So, so basically, our drivers have their base pay. Solo drivers are generally um, base pay forty one to forty three, depending upon experience and driving record. Oh. Our drivers receive a safety bonus of a penny, an on time bonus of a penny and a half. Our East Coast drivers receive an additional two cent East Coast premium for running to the East Coast because you're in in heavier traffic regularly. You're, you manage your hours really good, um, and then we have what's called our produce premium. It's an additional eight cents a mile anytime that they haul produce. So drivers running West Coast earn the the eight cents a mile uh, pretty much. 99% of the time, because that's what we haul coming back out of California, Washington, Oregon, Arizona. Our East Coast drivers, there may be 60% of the time that they're that they're receiving um, the produce premium of the eight cents. Um, but most of our drivers' weekly average then is high 40s, low 50s for their cents per mile. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, that was all confusing to me, but I, I think I pretty much put it together. What what would be okay. without without the bonuses and everything? What would be my base coming in the door as a five year driver? Doing the um East Coast? until I run MVR and see application, I don't set anything. So you know, I couldn't you know until I see all of that, I wouldn't want to mis mislead. Well, what about a ballpark? Can you give me a ballpark? Forty-one to forty-three. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We can we can work within there. All right. So you uh, mentioned you you mentioned that uh, that you are you driving or reefer because you you mentioned produce. So this is a reefer, reefer. I'll be driving. We're reefer. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Yep. Okay, okay. Um. Now, East Coast, that's like uh, New York, uh, uh, Boston, Massachusetts. It can be. It's Maine, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania. Yep. Um, New York, I can't have somebody who won't go someplace, but if your preference is not to go into New York, he's got enough other drivers that go into New York. Um, because they get an additional two hundred dollars for going into New York, so that, you know they go in there regularly. Um, but otherwise, like I said, if your preference is not to go in, mm -hmm. um, you know he's he's got enough drivers mm -hmm. who usually do go in. You might have to take a load out, relay it to somebody or something like that. Okay, okay, okay. Now, what about uh, uh, what about Northeast? Period. Like, what uh, what if uh, what what if I have a hang up of going up in the Northeast? Uh, would I be, would I be uh, forced dispatched up there? Like, where are you talking? Like the top part of the Northeast, <laughs> Maine, Massachusetts, all of that. <laughs> yeah, that won't, yeah, that's where we run. Yeah, we run Maine, Massachusetts, Pennsylvania. Yep. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, what about what about the uh trucks? What what are what are the trucks uh I'll be driving? Um our trucks are Kenworth T six eighties or some Peter about five eighty nines. Our trucks are three years or about five hundred and fifty thousand miles. Okay. Uh what's the end? Um they're governed at seventy miles an hour. Oh, okay, okay. That's cool. That's awesome. What about the amenities in the truck, like driver cams, refrigerators, and stuff like that? They all have a freighter. Um, we do have cameras in the truck. They're outward facing, um, and then two that go down the side of the truck so that uh, that you see, you know, what's on the side of the truck trailer if anything were to happen. Oh, okay, okay. So, any sign-on bonuses? At this time, no. All right, all right, all right. So the so the fleet that I will probably be uh be applying for will probably be the East Coast fleet. Which do you guys have anything that goes down south or anything like that, 
or no? We the the East Coast fleet does do some Florida and Texas. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Um, all righty then. Um, yeah. I, you know that's that's what I wanted to know. You know, just uh, uh, get a little bit of information about the company. Um, I did I I did see a few of you uh few of your trucks out here that you know that kind of peaked my kind of peaked my interest and stuff like that. Yeah. Um yeah. I I did talk to, you know, I'm in a Facebook group and I, I want to get your opinion right quick because I did talk to somebody in the Facebook group about uh about the company. Okay. And they were saying that uh they were saying that um uh, well, I I, I want to. He probably might have been a disgruntled driver or something like that, but I don't know. But he said that uh, your your guys handling towards minority drivers is different than how you guys handle the other drivers. What What do you got to say about that? Because I I am a you know I am a person of color. Okay, no, we don't. Um, the only thing that they could have been referencing is we have a, um, a fleet that we partnered with called JMAX Distribution. Um, they are owned by a minority um, gentleman. He's uh, Jarrell Washington. So um, uh, five years ago, we partnered with them. Um, but it doesn't matter. It's not like, you know, it's not like there's all minorities on their fleet. It's a mixture of whatever, you know, whatever is right. open and available truck wise right. Right. for, you know, who goes on that fleet. Now, the only thing that we do do different that we can do differently with the JMAX fleet is their insurance is, is different than, than ours. So if we had somebody with a little less experience over the road, we could put them on that fleet. Um, but essentially the JMAX fleet, they run under two DOT numbers. They run under a JMAX DOT number, depending on the load and then our DOT number, depending on the load. So that gets a little confusing. Okay. Um, but pay all the bonus programs, everything is a hundred percent the same. Okay. So the only reason why we partnered with them is because we haul office furniture for, um, Herman Miller. Mm -hmm. um, and they asked us to partner with Max because they were doing business with them, but they didn't have the resources that Van Eerden had for their backhaul stuff. So their drivers were sitting longer, um, and you, they weren't able to take as many loads. So that's that's where you know the uh, you know I don't know if that's what they were referencing or not. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, okay. Well, uh, hey, I I appreciate your time. Thank you. Uh, I I will take this and uh, put it in consideration, especially since the fact that I do have that I personally do have hangups about going up in the Northeast. So I just want to make sure if this is uh kind of right for me. But if I come across um some other drivers in yeah, my Facebook Yeah, and I, I would be concerned. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. And the only thing I would say is, you know, I would be concerned with where you live, you know, mm -hmm. if you were looking to run the West Coast fleet trying to get you quality home time, you know, kind of thing where, you know, the East Coast, you'd be passing through there regularly, even a couple of times a week. But like you said, yeah, if you don't like the Northeast, that is a lot of where, you know, what what we do, you know, running the East Coast. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Uh, again, like I said, I appreciate the, I appreciate your time. Um, and like I said, if I come across, you know, I, uh, you, you're the main, you're, you're the main person, right? The, the main guy, the, you know, if I, sure. if I pass, yep. uh, if I pass your yep. phone number and information on to other drivers that might be interested, uh, that's coming on to Van Eerden, Eerden, Eer, I, I pronounced it right. Eerden, right? Eerden. Yeah. Eerden. Like ear, like ear in a den, but it's E-E-R. <laughs> Eerden. All right. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate it. Okay, thank you, Sean. If you think of any other questions, feel free to give me a call back. Oh, very much so. Tenfold, tenfold. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, you have a great afternoon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Van Eerden, people.
There you have it. There you have it. Let's uh, let's go on their website right quick. Uh, Van Airden Trucking Company. They're located out of Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, if you want to know more about the company, you can call Marlo at 616-877-1106. To learn more about the current driving opportunities there. Um, they're family owned. They've been using e law since 19, I mean, 20, uh, 20, oh, 2009. Uh, drivers been with them for an average of seven years, and solo drivers make an average of 76000 per year. They say, why drive with us? We offer excellent pay and bonus program. We offer a great benefit package. Our experience dispatch is available 24 seven and we provide top notch equipment, which they have T uh, Kenworth's T six eighties and Peter bills. So, um, by the looks of it, they look like they're manual. Uh, to qualify for them, you got to have at least two years. You got to have a good driving record with minimum uh, violations and, of course, ability to pass a physical and a drug screen. Uh, they also got full benefits and look like they only got two lanes. Now, if you're up in the if you're up in the east coast route or east coast lane you'll be able to take your truck home for drivers such as myself that might not have you know a, a personal vehicle at the time um you might want to take your truck home and you know use it use it on pc time but she says if you're down it if you're running the west coast lane then you won't be able to take your truck home, which kind of got me confused because if I'm running the if I'm running the West Coast lane, why wouldn't I why wouldn't I be able to get home? And why would I have to park the truck somewhere and and use my personal vehicle? I don't know. I don't know. Uh Definitely give them a call if you're interested in uh, Van Earden. Definitely let them know Lockout Men sent you. Uh, and shout out to one of my, uh, shout out to my subscriber to uh, suggest uh, Van Earden. So there you have it. There you have it. Uh, if you guys want me to make the call, you know what I'm saying? Make the call. Uh, whether you get an email or you get a suggestion or something like that and you're curious to know, holler at me. You know what I'm saying? Now, this is the way I want you guys to do it, all right? You can suggest whoever you want to call in the, in the comments below. Make your suggestions. Get it in, and I, would, and I would try to get it out there for you. But who wants to support me making the call, you can do it by hit me up in the cash app or hit me up in the coffee app, you know, send me some coffee or something like that. And let me know there who you want me to call. You know what I'm saying? So support the channel, support me. And I would, I would turn around and I'll get this for you guys. All right. Um, now just to let you know that I did send out a, a, a request to, uh, to talk, with Van Earden. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think they received it, so I decided to call them. All right. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, and hit that bell for more content like this. You know what I'm saying? And hit that all button so when I drop them videos, you will get it. All right. Um, while somebody playing me out, I hope. Uh, you, uh, I hope somebody planned me out, but anyway, um, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I really do appreciate it. And until the Nets make the call now, this not just say that I'm bringing it back. You know, I, I got a lot of you guys that's, that's interested in places. And a lot of you guys want me to make the call for you. And 
I guess that's what I'm gonna do. But now, since a lot of guys is supporting me to make the call, then I'm gonna make it happen. You support me to make the call, I'll make it happen. Cash app or the coffee app, both of them is in the description below. So hook me up, let me know, and tell me who you want me to call next week. This Lockout Men, thank you for being here. This is the Lockout Men podcast show, and I'll get at you in another video. Peace. the right reset that is the right reset oh my god that is the right reset okay okay